Over the past year, we have dove in and looked at the story of the Call of Duty universe, diving into individual characters, starting off with the various specialists from Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. Then, shortly after Modern Warfare was announced to be the next Call of Duty game, we dove into the Modern Warfare universe, starting with the iconic character, Captain Price. But every once in a while, there is an individual character that stands out in people's minds as not only an awesome main character, but also super relatable. Sometimes in present day, that can be anything like a superhero to someone like James Bond. But for me, growing up, that one character was a character you played as starting in Modern Warfare 1 and went all the way through Modern Warfare 3. This was a character that always went the extra mile to do the right thing, to be the better person. And he was a character that you followed all the way from joining the SAS as the fucking new guy to the rank of captain in Modern Warfare 3. Today I present to you the full story of Soap McTavish. What the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? An interesting thing about Soap is he is the only character that you were able to play as through all three Modern Warfare games. But as far as his early life goes, there's actually not much that we know about him. We know he was raised Roman Catholic and born in Scotland. We don't have a date, we don't have a time, we just know he was born in Scotland. After which he grew up and joined the 3rd Battalion Parachute Regiment prior to joining the SAS. But upon joining the SAS, that is when the beginning of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare begins. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare starts with you, Soap McTavish, joining the SAS and getting introduced to your captain, Captain Price, where he says to you, Right, what the hell kind of name is Soap, eh? How'd a muppet like you pass selection? And after this famous quote, Captain Price sends you through the CQB course to test your skills. After which, you then find out that you are being sent on your first mission to invade a ship. A Russian ship to be exact, as right at that moment, the second Russian civil war has just begun. Now when you invade the ship, you end up finding out that inside the ship is a nuclear bomb bound for Russia. Now as you find this, the ship becomes under attack and begins to sink. In a frenzy, you and the crew try to escape and you just narrowly make the jump to grab the side of the helicopter. And as you're about to slip off and fall into the ocean, Captain Price grabs your hand and rescues you. And thus begins the bromance of Captain Price and Soap McTavish. Now after finding the Russian weapons, your informant Nikolai is now being held hostage and you are sent alongside Captain Price to go rescue him. And after fighting your way out alongside Nikolai and Price, you find out that Nikolai actually has intel on Al-Assad's whereabout. Al-Assad being one of the major bad guys in Call of Duty 4 who shot the president of his country, causing a war with America. Now the three of them go ahead and hunt down Al-Assad, going through some farmer's fields with the help of an AC-130. And upon finding Al-Assad, there's one of the most intense interrogation scenes in the entire Modern Warfare series. Who? Give me a name. A name. I want his name. Sir, it's his cell phone. Who was that, sir? Zakayev. Imran Zakayev. Now, the reason for Price's harsh reaction there is because years ago, Price was actually the man set to go ahead and kill Imran Zakayev. But as we know, that didn't go so well. So after they find out that Imran Zakayev is behind all of this, Price's plan to get out of him is to go for his son. Victor Zakayev. So they go into an ultra-nationalist camp and try to hunt down Victor. And when they have him cornered, Victor has other plans. No! So as you can imagine, after his son's death, Imran Zakayev is pretty pissed off. So his threat is to launch thousands of nukes at the USA. And as Soap and Price find out where the nuclear facility is and go to stop him, as they get there, they see nukes being launched into the sky. 
They have no other option but to get in there and stop them. And miraculously, they actually get into the facility in time to stop the nukes from hitting the USA. But unfortunately, Zakaev gets away. However, there is just enough time for Soap and Price to hunt him down. And after a vicious chase scene with cars and helicopters, this is the end of Call of Duty 4. Now at the end of this scene, Soap is nearly blacking out when a helicopter lands on the bridge to medevac him away. As he is put into the stretcher, he looks back to see his whole squad dead and chest compressions being performed on his captain and friend, Captain Price. And that is the end of Call of Duty 4, but the beginning of Modern Warfare 2. So at the start of Modern Warfare 2, SOAP actually puts together a joint task force called Task Force 141. This is a joint operation between the British SAS and the American Rangers. The person they get to supervise this task force is known as Commander Shepard, or as SOAP talks about him, another commanding officer with a caterpillar. Now, at this point, Soap got a promotion to captain, so in this game, you are no longer playing as Soap, but rather a new guy, Gary Roach Sanderson. Your first mission, recovering an ACS. Basically, the Russians got their hands on an American satellite, and you're going to take it back from them. And you and Roach just barely escape having to get away on snowmobiles. Now it is just after this that Vladimir Makarov puts his attack on Zakaev International Airport and General Shepard decides to put Task Force 141 on the job. The first mission is in Rio de Janeiro and their mission is to hunt down Alejandro Roja, the guy who supplied Vladimir Makarov with the weapons for the airport attack. Now they don't find Roja right away, but they do find his friend and Soap takes some lessons out of his mentor Captain Price's book and ends up interrogating him, using a car battery and some jumper cables in the back of a van. And after chasing Roja all the way through Rio de Janeiro, he is about to escape when Soap McTavish tackles him out of a third story window on top of a car like a complete badass. He's gonna get away! No, he's not. Well, no, no, this is Bravo 6. We've got the package. I repeat, we have got the package. Now after this, Task Force 141 is sent on a mission to a Russian gulag. Their mission is to save prisoner 627. As it turns out, this is a very familiar face. It's Captain Price. He never ended up dying after the events of Call of Duty 4, but rather got shipped off to a Russian prison. Price? This belongs to you, sir. You so. Now you may notice in that cutscene that Soap hands Price back his M1911 pistol. This is the same pistol that Price slid to him on the bridge at the end of Call of Duty 4. Now after the quick reunion, Task Force 141 is fully reunited and they barely manage to escape the prison before it blows up. Now at this point, Shepard has two ideas as to where Makarov could possibly be. The first option is in a boneyard in Afghanistan and he sends Price and McTavish to that location. The other location is Makarov's safe house in Russia, and he sends Ghost and Roach to that location. After Roach and Ghost end up getting the intel from Makarov's safe house, they go and try to escape. But as it turns out, General Shepard set up a trap, and this is what goes down. Yes. 
After this, Soap and Price figure out who the real enemy is, General Shepard. And the way they end up finding General Shepard is from the least likely place. Makarov ends up giving Price and Soap the location of General Shepard. And then once again controlling Soap McTavish, you go and storm General Shepard's compound. And the rest is history. <laughs> shortage of volunteers, no shortage of patriots. I know you understand. And once again, Soap McTavish just narrowly saves the day at the very end of the game. But both our heroes are very brutally wounded, but this is the end of Modern Warfare 2, but the beginning of Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 begins right after the events of Modern Warfare 2, and Soap is in really, really bad shape after being stabbed by Shepard. Luckily, Nikolai actually comes to the rescue of Price and Soap and brings them to his compound in India. And because of Price's efforts, they are actually successfully able to patch up Soap and get him back into the battle. But this is just before Makarov lays down an attack on Nikolai's compound. However, they are able to escape with the help of their new friend and comrade, Yuri. Task Force 141 is now back together and their new mission is to find and kill Makarov. However, they don't know where Makarov is, so they go several paces storming his compounds when eventually they find out about an African war leader named Warabi who is working with Makarov. They go to Africa, hunt him down, and torture him until he gives him the location of the bomb maker for Makarov named Volk. Gas masks on. Look familiar. No, no, please! Where's Makarov? Tell me it is yours. I'll contact with a man named Volk. We'll never met Makarov. Where's this Volk? Paris! He oversaw the delivery of Paris! Right then. This is the boys at Hereford. Now, after the other crew ends up capturing Volk, they find out where Makarov is going to be, at a place in Prague called the Hotel Lustig. So, Yuri, Soap, and Price set up an assassination attempt at the Hotel Lustig, 
Price goes into the hotel, where Yuri and Soap stay outside in an adjacent building with a sniper focused on the building. But as we find out, Makarov is once again a step ahead and has planted a bomb in the building that Price is in, as well as the building that Soap and Yuri are in. I forgot what you're talking about. Get out now! After the explosion, Yuri and Price managed to make it out unscathed, or at least with very minimal wounds. However, Soap has suffered some pretty lethal wounds, so they need to get him to safety. So Yuri puts Soap over his shoulder and fights his way through the streets of Prague to get Soap to a safe house. And upon getting there, we meet, in my opinion, the saddest scene out of the entire Modern Warfare series. Oh, now, son. Just rest. Get him, Manic! Come on, stay with me, son. Now Price's last actions towards Soap is to say sorry, like it's his fault, and on top of that, giving him the M1911. The same M1911 that Price slid to Soap at the end of Call of Duty 4, that Soap gave back to Captain Price in the Gulag mission in Modern Warfare 2, and now Price is giving to him in his last dying breaths. A symbolism of their friendship, a symbolism of the camaraderie, and a symbolism of the end of Soap McTavish. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the full story of Soap McTavish. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments what characters you'd like me to cover next. And of course, if you like what you see here and want to stay up to date on all my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you have notifications on. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out. There's a clock tower in Hereford where the names of the dead are inscribed. We try to honor their deeds, even as their faces fade from our memory. Those memories are all that's left when the bastards have taken everything else. What happened? He killed Soap. He's gone, Mac.